praise his holy name. Grace and peace be unto you from God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We honor the King tonight. Praise be to God. And we thank God for what he has already done. Uh, there are folks who are trying to figure out what is God doing? What is he going to do? Well, God, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Father God, we thank you for your simplicity. We thank you for your boldness. Oh, we thank you for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, keeping our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We thank you, we bless you, we adore you. Hallelujah, we give you all the glory, we give you all the praise, we give you all the honor. It belongs to you and you alone. We love you, we adore you. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm just excited about what God is doing. Hallelujah. We just thank God for all that he has already done. Praise be to God. And we are uh, just reaching out for those who have been struggling in 2020. Uh, just, just did not seem to have a way out. Struggle with where you are. Struggling now. I'm here to tell you that this is, hallelujah, a new year. And not because it's a new year. It has to be a new you. A new you in the new year. A new you in the new year. Hallelujah. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Praise be to God. A new you in the new year. Say that. A new you in the new year. Make it personal. Say a new me in the new year. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Hallelujah. A new you in the new year. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. We get excited about the new year, and we think by osmosis, things are just going to turn around, and they're going to just change, and everything's going to get better. You want to get rid of the old. 2020 is over, and we're excited about where we're going. Let me tell you something. If you don't allow God to change your heart and your mind and your body and soul, praise be to God, it would just be an old you in a new year. We saying there is a new you in a new year. Why? Because you have rededicated your heart over to Jesus Christ or you have given your life over to Jesus Christ for the first time and you have allowed him to come in to your heart. He says, come into my heart to stay, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This is not a, 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 a one week, one month thing. You know, we make all these resolutions about what we're going to do and how we're going to change things and how we're going to move. I've done it. Oh, I'm 63 and I've done it so many years of my life. This year I'm going to do this. I, I even wrote a list one time of all the things that I was going to change and all the things that I was going to do. And you know, before the week was out, I said the week, in some instances the day was out, I had already been back to the same old thing, doing the same old thing, filling in the same old habits. But then I found that uh, the Bible says, if any man or woman be in Christ, he or she becomes a new creature, a new creation. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. You don't have to wait to a new year to operate in what seems to be new. Hallelujah. You have the same bills. You have the same problems. You have the same challenges. You have the same uh, ailments. All these things just don't change by osmosis. And all of a sudden, because 2020 changes to 2021, something miraculous has taken place from the foundation of the world. The Bible says that all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. 
Wow, because God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. My heart goes out to so many folk on tonight. Praise be to God, especially to those who rededicated their life over to Jesus, especially to those who would give their life over to Jesus for the very first time. I'm just so excited about what God is doing in your life right now. We serve a right now God. The Bible says now faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So we, we're excited about what God has already done. We really stick in the 2021 or the 2020, praise be to God. But before there was the 2020, before there was anything else, hallelujah, there was our Lord and Savior who came to take away the sins of the world. And so we're just so excited about what he's doing, praise be to God. If you've never given your heart over to Jesus Christ, the Bible says, all of sin that comes short of the glory of God, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. If you would confess him as your Lord and Savior, if you would invite him into your life, he will come in. Hallelujah. With me, just with me, just before we get into the words, do you have any father? I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross and rose from the dead. Hallelujah, I accept you into my heart and I believe right now because, I believe right now because of the blood of Jesus and I accept his death, burial and resurrection that is gonna soon return that I am saved. I'm a new creature. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus and I thank you for coming into my heart. I thank you for salvation right now in Jesus' mighty name. We just give God all the praise. We applaud him right now. We are excited. The Bible says the heaven, the angels in heaven are rejoicing over one <laughs> who's given their life over to Jesus Christ. I talked to uh, my brother. He was just telling me he, he was excited about, you know, we prayed and the soul that came to Christ on today, it was just miraculous. It was just wonderful. And I thank God for you who have now turned your heart over and given your life over to Jesus Christ. Let's look at the gospel according to St. John. No, let's look at 1 John's. 1 John's, praise be to God. Hallelujah. We want to just read what God has spoken to our hearts, and we want to thank him for being so good to us. Praise be to God. But you need to study to show thyself approved unto God. The Bible says a workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's what's going to bring us through this year. That's what's going to bring us through this day, through this night, through this week, through this month. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. His spirit abides with us now. He says, I'm leaving, but I will not leave you comfortless. He's left us with the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit leads us, and the Holy Spirit is guiding us into all truth. Hallelujah. If you don't hear anything else, that has been said over 2021 today, know that you have a risen savior who gave his life for you, that you might have eternal life, not eternal damnation. There's a heaven to gain and there is a hell to shun. We thank you for making a choice, 2021, to give your life over to Jesus Christ. Amen, let's read First John, and uh, we're going to begin, because there's a lot of reading and, and my time is short, we're going to start at the 15th verse of 1 John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. See, for the things that's in the world, praise be to God, everything about this world is temporal. There's going to be a new heaven, a new earth, but there's going to time when, come a time when we're going to leave everything behind. It's temporal. The things that are seen is temporal. Hallelujah. And, and we're not taking anything, anything that you see, own, possess, have, you're not taking it with you. I've seen family members fight over things. I've seen people have a lot of abundance of everything and still not have joy and still not have peace. Life does not consist in the abundance of things that we possess. Now, on the other hand, I've seen people who have nothing, who's struggling, 
who just don't know how they're going to pay their bills and how they're going to come through this storm and how is God going to move over their lives. And some just don't believe that God is doing anything for them because they've given up. Don't give up. God is not going to do anything. He's already, he's already done it. As many as receive, you must receive it. You must begin to thank him. You must begin to believe him. You must begin to trust him. Praise be to God. Trust and obey him. That means, that means you have to go to his word. That means you have to study his word. Hallelujah. He says, meditate on my word day and night. And then he says, observe and do all according that is written therein. He says, and then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Hallelujah. And thou shalt have good success. Do you know prosperity and the things of Christ supersedes the natural. It supersedes what you have, what you see, what you can feel, what you can taste, what you can touch. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Those things are so temporal. It says, love not those things. Love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. How about that? It says, for all that is in the world, First John, 2 and 16, for all that are in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Praise be to God. Look at this. And verse 17 says, and the world passes away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. 2021 is going to zoom by, just like 2020. I was talking to somebody the other day about turning 63, talking about how I was just 20, how I was just a teenager in high school, 16, 15, 40, and all of a sudden, like I went to sleep and woke up, and now I'm up in age. Thank God that I still have health and activity of my limbs, but this body is deteriorating. This body is dying. This body is going back to the dust. Dust thou art, dust thou art to become. But there's a new home. We have a new home. Hallelujah. A house not made with hands. If this earthly house of the tabernacle was desired, we have another building. A house not made with hands. Watch this. Not in this world, but eternal in the heavens. It says, and the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Then said, Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that the Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know, underline this, whereby we know that it is the last days. I'm going to read it again. Praise be to God, little children. Verse 18. It is the last time. It is the last time. And as you have heard that Antichrist shall come, and then watch this, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby, underline it, what do we know? Whereby, what do we know? We know that it is the last days. We know it is the last time. Praise be to God. It is the last time. We know it's the last time. It says, they went out of us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not, praise be to God, all of us but you have an unction from the holy one and you know all things i have not written unto you because you know not the truth huh but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth let me read that again verse 21 it says i have not written unto you because you know not the truth, come on, you know the truth, but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Look at verse 22. Who is a liar 
but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth, and he's the light. No man go, cometh unto the Father but by him. But who? The question is, who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is Christ? He is antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. He is antichrist who does not have the Father and the Son. And in the year 2021, it's not a riddle. It's not going to be a puzzle to know and recognize who the enemy is. The word of God shows us, directs us, and tells us, praise be to God. All we need to do is follow the word, stand on his promises, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to our heart. It says, whosoever denieth, watch this, the son, the same hath not the father, but he that acknowledges the son has the father also. Why is it so important in 2021? Because it was important in 2020. And it was important in 2019. And it was important 20. It's not a riddle. Praise be to God. It just is. God just is. And we, did, we need to know who he is. We sing this song. Everybody ought to know. Everybody ought to know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. It's let, it says in verse 24, let that therefore abide in you which you have heard from the what? Beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning show, watch this, remain in you. Hmm? How you also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. It has to remain in you. I'll read it again. Hallelujah 24. Let that therefore abide in you, which you have heard from the beginning. If that which you have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, you also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. 25 says, and this is the promise that he has promised us. Uh-oh, he's given us a promise. Come on, write this down, underline this down. Even eternal life, even eternal life. Come on, say, even eternal life. And this is the promise that he has promised us. Hallelujah. Even eternal life. Somebody shout eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 2021 has nothing on eternal life. 2020, 2018, 2017. If you could go far back as you can, go to back to, to the 800s and the baby after death before Christ. It means nothing, praise be to God, if you're not going to live in the realm of eternal life where there's no death, there's no sickness, there's no destruction. Now, there's coming a time that the wheat and the taff, you know, they're growing together, it's going to be a separation. And those individuals have rejected the Father, rejected the Son, and rejected the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, in hell, you will lift your eyes up. Hallelujah. Choose ye this day who you will serve. It is not God's will that none should perish. But you do have a free will to choose. And we're not talking about religion. We're not talking about denomination. We're talking about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It says, and this is the promise. It's the promise. He's given us the promise that he has promised us even what? Eternal life. These things have I written unto you, unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which we have received of him abideth in you. It's the anointing. It's the anointing that destroys the yoke. It's the anointing of God that destroys the yoke. But the anointing which you have received of him abideth in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, you shall abide in it. I'll read it again. You ought to go back and read this and rest in this, praise be to God. It says, but the anointing which you have received of him in you. Where is it in you? 
and you need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie, and even as it has taught you, you shall abide in him. Verse 28 says, and now little children abide in him that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Jesus is coming back soon. It may be morning. We heard this as a child, night or noon, Jesus is coming back. Everybody don't always get, somebody say he was coming back uh, 2017, 2018, 20, everybody predicts when he's coming back. You need to be ready. No man knows the day nor the hour, but we need to be ready when he comes. Don't let him catch you with your work undone. Be ready when he comes. Don't let him catch you with a lying tongue. Be ready when he comes. He's got a song and it went on for on and on and on, telling you about what not to have happen when Jesus Christ returned. It says, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteous is born of him. The, the good thing about righteousness, hallelujah, he who knew no sin became sin that we might become the righteousness of God. We're in right standing because of the word of God. If you know, hallelujah, that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. So we, we honor the king and we thank him for all the things that he has done and brought us up to this time. And as we cry out for souls and as we pray for those people who lost loved ones, as we pray for those individuals who are sick, as we pray for those who are operating in racism and hatred and division, praise be to God, hallelujah. We look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, and we operate in him, praise be to God, in everything we do. We, we read about all the temple things that people are getting excited about and all the temple things that people gravitate to, and they miss, they go through a whole year Hallelujah. Either thinking they made it and they got it, or they're very disappointed. No middle ground. You're one or the other. And God wants you to understand that he holds the whole world in his hand, and he is in control. And regardless to how good it has looked to you, or how bad it has gotten for you, God still has you on his mind. You say, well, oh, come on, Bishop. So what does that mean that God had? Listen, he had you and me on his mind when he sent his son to die on Calvary. And because he had you and me in his mind, praise be to God, he knew about all the hatred and the sickness and the confusion and the death and the dying. He knew about all of the things, hallelujah, that the enemy has brought in amongst man because man disobeyed God. He said to Adam and Eve, hallelujah, you may hear me the tree in the garden, but don't eat of the tree of God. Don't eat of the forbidden fruit because in the day you eat it, you shall surely die. And you know, they start blaming one another. You know the whole story, praise be to God. But God had a remedy. And one thing about God is so good, he allows you to make a decision. My father used to say, when I didn't know what to do, go to work with him, and he did construction work, and I, he, he wouldn't even tell me sometimes. He'd say, Rick, make a decision. Boy, make a decision. I'm like, oh, back and forth. But I knew I had to make a decision because if I didn't make a decision, there was going to be some problems. Well, God wants you to make a decision. And the sweet thing about God, he has given you a road map. He has given you his Holy Spirit. He has given you hallelujah, everything that you would need to make the right decision. He's given you his word, his precious word. Praise be to God. And if you would just read God's word, I'm running out of time. I have no idea how much time I have, maybe five minutes. They tell me I have five minutes. Let me read something to you that I read uh, before we close out and just talk about spiritual warfare. 
Marcel wrote this thing, and I and I just thank God. It says, put on the breastplate of righteousness and practice living righteously. With all the things that we just uh, read and, and and heard, you want to live righteous. You want to be in right standing. You want to receive all that God has for you. It says, when you receive Christ by faith, Christ's righteousness, the breastplate of righteousness was given to you before you can be holy and blameless before God, you must act in faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Little children, praise be to God, 1 John 3, 7 through 10. It says, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. It says, even as he is righteous, he that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sendeth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of Man was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doeth not commit sin. Come on, 2021, let's stand on the promises, hallelujah, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteous is not of God. How about that? So the power of sin has been broken in your life. Clothed in Christ's righteousness, you have power over all sin. That's the good news, hallelujah, for 2021. We're talking about being a new believer, a new Christian, hallelujah, a new person, hallelujah, not just a new year, hallelujah. We're talking about you being a new believer, a new creature, a new believer, praise be to God, not that same old person you were, hallelujah, old things have passed away, behold, all things become new, 2021. That's what you want to be, you want to be a new creation, a new creature in Christ, not just a new date on the calendar. Tomorrow you're going to hear the same news. you get the same news about the virus, the sickness, the hatred, the violence, the crime, all the things that you could imagine, the shootings. You're going to hear about all that over and over and over again. But thanks be to God, God had dealt with that on Calvary. You need to hear the good news. And it needs to start with you. You need to decree. Praise be to God that you're a new creature. Hallelujah, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus because of the precious blood of Jesus, because you've confessed him as your personal savior. You must now yield to the members of your body, your mind, your hallelujah thoughts as a slave to righteousness. Verse Romans 6 and 12 says, let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that you should obey it in the lust thereof. It is in your power. It's within our power. God made it possible. Jesus shed his blood, hallelujah, Jesus shed his blood that you should or uh, could live holy and blameless before God. Hmm? He placed his spirit within you to enable you to live free from sin. I got about two more minutes. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. It says, neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Being then made free, how about that? From what? From sin. You become the servant of righteousness. We become the servant of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmities of your flesh. For as you have yielded your members servants to uncleanliness and to iniquity, unto iniquity, Romans 6, 3 and 13 says, even so now. Yield your members servant to righteousness unto holiness. My God, my God, he's worthy to be brave. So as you are clothed in the breastplate of righteousness, you become invulnerable to Satan's attack. Knowing that you 
are clothed in Christ's righteousness, you are able to withstand every temptation that will come in 2021. Praise be to God. The enemy's attempting some of you right now. Some of you doing stuff right now you ain't got no business doing. Some of you acting in ways you shouldn't be acting. Some of you saying some things and in places you shouldn't be right now. Praise be to God. Thank God for his grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Knowing that you have been set free from the power of sin and that Christ is in you and you are in him. Hallelujah, you are able to say no to every temptation. Say no right now, hallelujah, right now, wherever you are, say no to Satan, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Everything that he throws at you, say no tonight, say no, 2020, say no, praise be to God. When Satan attacks you, bring up the sins of your past, knowing that you are clothed in Christ, righteousness and not in your own, you are immovable and you will not be shaken. So we thank God that I have to quit now, but I just praise him that we are closed in the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah. And we have the body. Mm, hallelujah. We can boldly and fearfully look forward to Christ's second coming, knowing that you will be able to stand. Hallelujah holy and blameless before him praise be to god you will have confidence knowing that as you yield yourselves to the unlimited unsurpassing power that is within you he will keep you from falling father god we just pray if there's anyone who's never given a heart over jesus christ we pray hallelujah we say happy new years happy new years happy new years but it's even more happy when you give your life to him today. Won't you do it today? Hallelujah. Say, dear Heavenly Father, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died on the cross and rose from the dead. And right now, by faith, I'm saved. I'm saved. I'm saved. Look at somebody say, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's. And it's Happy New Year's 2021. Happy New Year's 2021. I'm excited about where you're going. I'm excited about what God has done to, for you tonight. I'm excited about how blessed, hallelujah, you're going to operate and go forth. I know all the things that has transpired, but you're a new creature in Christ Jesus. You're a new creation in Christ Jesus. And if you would just trust him, just trust him through the storms, hallelujah, you'll get peace. Watch this, in the storm, he wants to give you peace. He wants to strengthen your heart and your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you. We love you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. He alone is worthy. Hallelujah. Bless you. 2020. Happy New Year to 2021. We love you. Praise be to God. Happy New Year.